Hello everybody, welcome to Dyersville, Iowa, and today we're going to check out the filming location of the movie Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner, Amy Madigan, and James Earl Jones. Come along and let's check out the property. Now if you haven't seen Field of Dreams, you absolutely should. In my opinion, it's one of the best movies ever made, especially if you're a baseball fan. Now this entire movie took place in Iowa, and this is probably 45 minutes outside of Dubuque, Iowa. It's a farm, it's out in the middle of nowhere, and this place was specifically scouted for the filming of Field of Dreams. Now it's become a little bit more commercial, but you can still visit it for free. They ask for a goodwill donation. Um, they'll take pretty much whatever you give them, but they do not receive any kind of funding for this property. This was originally the Lansing House, and it it it's open to the public. I mean, anybody can come and visit, and they have baseball games here. People can show up and play catch, and a lot of people come out here, but it's not publicly funded, and they don't get any kind of... I mean, this is not associated with Universal Pictures or Sony or anything like that at all. The way I understand it is that the owners of this field actually have to pay money for licensing, for licensing this movie, the logo, um, pretty much anything to do with merchandising, anything like that, which kind of sucks because that's their own personal property, but that's how these kind of things go. But going back to the movie, this is the actual house where they filmed the movie. It was in here, and it was just, there was... It was surrounded by nothing but cornfields back when they filmed this in 1988. And the swing on the front porch is not original. Um, it was borrowed from somebody in Dubuque and then returned. But this is, you know, it's this one's been here for a while, but it's not the original one from the film, which I should note. But like I said, this was all cornfield at one point. And then they built this baseball field for the movie and they've left it here. And people, this is a pilgrimage for baseball fans and movie fans and everybody else. And they allow you to come and you can play catch. And there have been times when some of the actors have come back. I know Kevin Costner has been back a few times. I'm not sure if any of the others have. But um, just an absolutely fantastic movie. Kevin Costner starred as Ray Kinsella. Amy Madigan was in it. Um, Re the late Ray Liotta played Shoeless Joe Jackson. Um, James Earl Jones. And one of the more fascinating parts that not a lot of people talk about is I believe this um, Moonlight Graham was played by Burt Lancaster, and I believe this was the last scene of the last film that he ever shot before he passed away. But, um, yeah, so now the premise of this was that um, Kevin Costner's character was a farmer. He was hurting for money. Um, they weren't doing very good. His brother-in-law was trying to buy the farm or trying to get him to sell it. And he had, he started hearing voices and he was trying to figure out what these, um, what these voices meant. And then he ended up hearing, if you build it, he will come, which has become a pretty good tagline, um, from, you know, as good as anything from any movie it's ever happened. But they built this, uh, baseball field. He ended up figuring out that that's what he needed to do. And, then a lot of old Major League Baseball players, Shoeless Joe Jackson and people like that, they started to come out of this cornfield and nobody knew where they came from. And this is where it all happened. I mean, they came out of the cornfield right here and they would come down and they would play catch and the family would sit on the bleachers off to the side over here and watch the baseball games. But just a a really interesting movie, and this is a just an awesome place to come and visit if you ever get a chance. Now, over the last couple of years, they've started having Major League Baseball games here, exhibition games. I, I think they count towards regular stats, but I'm not completely sure. But if you know, leave, uh, leave a message in the comments and let me know. That I'm not entirely sure about. But they built a major league stadium on the other side of the cornfield behind me. But this is a view of not only the house, but the actual field. But pretty cool place. 
And it's nice to see history preserved like this. Now, if you've seen the movie, you'll see that this is kind of an iconic shot. You can see the uh, the farmhouse in the background. I'm on the baseball field right now. I'll walk uh, into home plate just because, you know, if you're, if you're here, you kind of have to say that you've done it. Now, I'm kind of lucky right now. I'm here late in the day, and there's really nobody here. But usually if you come here in the middle of a day or especially on a weekend, this place is packed of people playing catch, people hitting, um, pretty much all of that. But this is just a really cool thing to see. And the fact that they actually let you get free reign of the field, you can walk into the corn and pretend that you're Shoeless Joe coming out, um, pretty much anything like that. It's, I mean, it's cool that they allow you to do that. But here's one more look at the field. And one of the, one of the best things about this movie, it's a very quotable movie. And one of my favorite things was, is when Shoeless Joe was talking, he was talking about all the dead baseball players that wanted to come back and play here. And he told, he said that uh, Ty Cobb wanted to play, and he said none of them could stand him when, he, when they were alive, so they told him to stick it. And that was always probably my favorite quote from this movie. But these here were the original benches that were built for the movie, and it was right over here on the bottom where... Um, James Earl Jones sat and gave the famous People Will Come Ray speech. But as far as I know, these benches are still original. That's what, that's what people here have told me. It's a little bit surreal to come and take this all in. And I highly recommend it. Well, they do have a plaque to this. On August 12th of 2021, the Chicago White Sox and New York Yankees played the first ever Major League Baseball game in the state of Iowa in a ballpark constructed adjacent to the Field of Dreams movie site. Over 7,800 fans gathered on this site and at the Major League Baseball field in celebration of the enduring spirit of this beloved film and the generations of baseball fans everywhere. It's a Major League Baseball plaque. Now, while you're here, you cannot visit the Major League uh, Stadium portion of this. They have that all blocked off. But if you like baseball, you absolutely have to visit this location. Here's one final look at the house. But thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. And if you enjoy videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day, everybody.